The saying go big or go home means nothing to me, so we're going to go big and go home. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it's our final night of the Maximum Impact Tour. I hope you enjoyed this. We've got 2,000 people tonight at the casino because casino rooms. In a total free match, Tessa Blanchard, Rosemary, Kylie Ray, Jordan Grace, and Lee Shredman's defeat Havoc, Katie Forbes, Kira Hogan, Lady Tap, and Manson Vang in 7.4, and Tessa Blanchard defeat Katie Forbes by pin of the pile driver. And Lee Shredman's 28, Jordan Grace 30, Kelly Ray 28, Rosemary 37, Tessa Blanchard 34, Manson Vang 31, Lady Tap 22, Kira Hogan 30, Katie Forbes 28, and Havoc over Ohio Havoc 33. Manson Vang informs the Tessa Blanchard forms 33 plus. So let's move on. Do, 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 do. After this, I've got to upload everything onto the YouTube, so that's the fun step. <laughs> this is the recording and setting up stuff is the easy step, but editing the is mediocre, and then you get to uploading. That's the fun bit. In the picture, I had some Paris and all heat, filthy double on the Dinas and the Thunder Express, the V Tangu, Mustache Mountain, and OV in 629 and filthy Tom Lord, defeat Tangu by Pinfall. Aiden Mayer 33, Fallow Bauer 34, Cousin Drake 34, Cody Dina 31, Wilfred Domino 36, Tengu 24, Drake Chris 29, Dave Chris 29, Tyler Bate 53, 2747, Drake Chris in Rumble, Cody Rhodes in Rumble, Tyler Bate in Performance, Fallow Bauer in Performance and Performance, and Tengu in Rumble and Performance. He is getting a chance. Um, he's going to go. He's. On the list, there is only a place, and um, this is the issue I've got. I'm only giving about four from night one, one from night two, and we're gonna, and I've only got another two places left, and I think I know who they're going to. Um, because Roy and Zach Knight are just gonna get permanent contracts anyway. In the push round, so Paris and Little Heat, uh, Brad Slayer defeat Brad O'Brien, Dager, and Stone Rock are in elimination match, so 53. Your elimination was Brad O'Brien first, and Stone Rock are, and finally Dager. Brad O'Brien 27, Dager 39, Brad Slayer 29, and Stonewall 32. Brad Slayer and Rumble Techno Performance. I knew that you would do well for me. So Brad, who lives in Great Yarmouth, and I have seen wrestle numerous of times live in person. So Brad Slayer will be in action. Um, in a pre-show belt, in a poor pre-show match, Tony Storm turns Ash and Ali Cat. Defeats Soraya Knight, Su Young, and Tyre Valkyrie in 06 when Ali Cat defeats Tyre Valkyrie by Pindle Pile Driver. Ali Cat 26, Tun and Dashwood 38, Tony Storm 40, Tyre Valkyrie 31, Su Young 30, and Soraya Knight 38. Tun and Dashwood in flying. Now, this match will go out live on our YouTube channel, which will result in us announcing the match that you're about to see booked in now because of her win over Tyre Valkyrie here tonight. She will get a shot at the women's. The Knockouts Championship on Impact. I made sure that, that was going to be able to go ahead, so that's booked in. In a terrible match, King Kendo defeated Bulk in 8:27 by Pinfall League using Rex Leverage. Bulk 21, King Kendo 23, no occurrence 23 e minus. These are two local talent who I have a lot of love for. I knew it was going to be a crap match, but I pull it on anyway because you know, when you're in when in Rome, you go for it. In about very decent wrestling, but the little heat Luch Brothers to be Pain Incorporated in 754 and Pentagon Jr. to be Michael Alvin by pin for the top rope stars clash. Uh, Moose 36, Michael Alvin 41, Pentagon Jr. 50, Ray Phoenix 58. Uh, Moose in performance 48D. Plus. In about that top wrestling, a little heat Ace Austin to be PJ Black and 824 by Pin Fold. Ace Austin makes fans number three of his Impact X Division title. PJ Black 42, Ace Austin 32, no work permits. 39D minus. In a decent match, Will Ospreay defeat Matt Saddle in 1250 51 by Pin of the Stormbreaker. Matt Saddle 49, Will Ospreay 56, no work for it, so 54C minus. In a bad of Paris, in a little heat, Killer Cross, Johnny Swing, and Joe Ryan defeat Ricky Knight Jr., Lion King, and Al Ligero 9 and 3. And Joe Ryan defeat Ricky Knight Jr. by Pin of the Super Swing Netbreaker. Al Ligero 48, Lion Kid 33. Ricky Knight Jr. 26, Joe Ryan 43, Johnny Swinger 36, and Kelly Cross 29. Ricky Knight Jr. Rumble and Performance. Um, RKJ, as he's also known, Ricky Knight Jr. RKJ. I'm going to, sub I should be going to see him. I'm also going to, I'm also going to allow an extra space into the roster with Lion Kid, because Lion Kid is a great ring ring worker. 40 D minus. In the Bad decent wrestling, but didn't have much heat. Colt Cabana defeat Dave Boy Smith Jr. in 10-24 by from the Colt 45. 
David Boy 45, Colt Cabana 41, David Boy in performance, 44D. Beautiful. In a decent match, Andy Edwards defeated Rob Van Dan in 801 by Pound the Forward, Long Blower. Uh, RVD 43, Eddie Edwards 60, no experience 54C minus. Um, in a terrible match, Joe Fix defeated Matt Taven in 810 by Pinfall. Uh, Matt Taven 34, Joe Fix 22. Joe Fix and Rumble and Performance will be paying close attention to Joe Fix and he'll hopefully get a contract sooner rather than later. In a bad top par wrestling, a little heat, the Desi Hit Squad, Raj Singh, Rick Raju, and Milhar B. Shearer defeated the Rascals, Des Grunts, and Trey in 938 when Marvel Shearer defeated Des by from Sky High. Trey 40, Rents 26, Des 29. Marby Shear 27, Root Raju 36, Raj Singh 32. Uh, Marby Shear and Technol Des in Rumble, Raj Singh in Performance, 35E. In a bad of Pro Wrestling and Little Heat, the North to be the Wild Boys and Level 14, and Ethan Page to be William Matt by from the Spinning Face Buster. The North make defense number four of their Impact of All Tag Team Tiles. Can you be quiet, please? William Matt 35, Rich 147, Josh Alexander 31, Ethan Page 34, Ethan Page in Performance, 40D. minus. In a terrible match, Brian Cage defeated Matt Walters in 2003 by putting the Pump Handle Face Buster. Brian Cage makes defense number 5 of his Impact World title. Uh, Matt Walters 21, uh, Brian Cage 38. These two don't seem to flick. Matt Walters and Rumble taking on performance. Well, with that improvement, Walters might find himself a contract. I'll see how we feel when I come to signing these wrestlers, but he's on my short list now. 33 plus. In a decent match, Monster Ripper defeated Dalton Castle in 10.07 by the Black Hole Slam. Dalton Castle 38, Monster Ripper 47. No recommends 45D. In a good match, Drew Bennett defeated Mark Haskins in 10.05 by the Wastelands. Mark Haskins 60, uh, Stu Bennett 63, no work for in 64C. And then in a bad, bad great, rest, great heat and decent wrestling, Zack Sabre Jr. defeated Pack in 25.19 by the Sabre Driver. Pack 54, Zach Sabre Jr. 57, no work permits. And that in the main event? Oh, yeah, we've got a post show. In a post show, Belva had decent wrestling, but I'm going to cheat. Uh, Marafuji, TJP, and Rhino defeated Jay Lethal, Callahan, and Mad Van Fulton in 1502, and Rhino defeated Mad Van Fulton by the Gore. Rhino 33, TJP 51, Marafuji 40, Fulton 39, Callahan 39, and Lethal 56. Lethal in performance. That's where we end our maximum. Oh, we've got a slick draw. Slight draw. That's where we end the Maximum Impact Tour tonight with a 57C minus. I hope you guys have enjoyed everything about this tour. I've really enjoyed booking this tour. I've really enjoyed everything about the tour. I think we've done really well and we'll definitely be doing this again this time next year. So thank you for watching, guys. We'll see you on Tuesday when Impact Wrestling goes back to its regular TV tapings. Thank you for watching, guys.